Welcome to the virtual Y. Today's ver version of Kids in the Kitchen is a fruit Sunday with the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas. And I have with me three very lovely helpers, handsome I should say, not lovely. What's your name? Brayden. Brayden. Cooper. Cooper. Dexter. Dexter. Do y'all like ice cream sundaes? Yes. 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 Do you think ice cream sundaes are real healthy for you? No. no. So how about today we make a little bit healthier version of an ice cream sundae. Sound good? Yeah. 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 All right. So I want you two boys to very carefully take your knife out and go ahead and take just the green tops off the strawberries and then cut the strawberries in three or four. Go ahead and take this all the way off. And be very careful. You always hold your strawberries with your fingers away. Okay? And then you're going to cut your strawberries like in four. Oh. Yep, cut the top off and then cut them in four. So Dexter, while they're cutting, I heard that you were really good at soccer, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that your body needs food to be a good soccer player? Yeah. Yeah. Does a car need gas to go really fast? Mm -hmm. Did you know food is like fuel for your body? You did? Yeah. <laughs> so the better you fuel your body, the better soccer player you're going to be. Does that sound like it's the truth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happens if you eat a lot of donuts and chips and things like that? You think you'll be as fast on the soccer field? No, because your stomach will start to hurt. Yeah. Your stomach might start hurting. You might start feeling sluggish, right? So what kind of food do you think is good food to be a good soccer player? Right. Um, strawberries, cranberries, or something. Do you know what's on? Let, let me just help you for a second. Do you have you ever heard of this? It's kind of like a chart of like the different categories yeah. of food. Like yeah, it's called the my plate. So strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. What what section are they in? Fruit. Fruit. Do you know of any veggies that you like? like um, carrots. Carrot, celery, what about you? Uh, cucumber. Cucumbers, all right. And what's a protein? Like meat. Meat? Red meat, no. Uh, yep, red meat, yeah. chicken, fish. What about almonds? Are they a protein? Yes, yes. A, all nuts are a protein. Yeah, all nuts are a protein and a good fat, too. And then what about grains? It's like the rice. Rice? Yeah. Would our rice be white or would it be brown? White. If it's a whole grain. White. It actually would be brown in color if it's a whole grain. So anytime we're doing breads or rices or tortillas, we want to make sure they're brown. Well, it looks like you did a great job with your strawberries there. So now we're just going to take our bowl, and you're going to get to choose whatever fruit you want. So we have strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. So, yep, you can go ahead and start. Just fill your bowl with what you want on it. At the Do you know how many servings of fruit you should have a day? Two. Um, like, yep. You should have two servings. What should your other servings be? Um, vegetables. Yeah, half of your plate should always be fruit and vegetables. So we're going to do about one serving of our fruit today. I think that's probably enough of the strawberries. Yes. Now do you want blueberries or blackberries or both? Blackberries um, and maybe like a couple blueberries. Okay, can y'all kind of pass down to... To help out there. All right, now dark chocolate. Did you know a little bit of dark chocolate is actually pretty good for you? Mm -hmm. But we want to do our sweets in moderation. Do you know what that word might mean? Moderation? Uh, like not too much. Not too much. So who wants chocolate on their Sunday? Me, but not very much because right. it's not healthy. So if you will take chocolate. your fork and go ahead and just put a no more than a tablespoon of chocolate. A couple. Yep. And then you can pass them down. And would you like almonds? Sure. And nobody has a nut allergy, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. All right. Fork or? Yep. Just go ahead and put what you want. A bit of almonds, too. Yep. All right, so we have our nuts, our chocolate. You want to go ahead and keep your fork there. Now, who likes oh. Ready Whip? Yes. So Ready Whip is a fun way to, to dress things up, and it's only 15 calories for a little dollop of Ready Whip. So are you going to fill your whole thing no, with it? No, you just it? want it, like, not the whole circle, but yeah. like that All right, portion. so go ahead and show me. 
You're going to press the can down. Make sure you're putting it in your bowl. Perfect. That's just about the right serving there. Here. Okay, go ahead and do yours. Where's the button? Oh, you just press yep. down. Just push, oh. just press down and make sure you're pressing it down into the bowl. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Go like this. There we go. Is that enough? Yep. All right. You got it? Not too much. Yeah. All right. Now, the most important part of the whole segment. Is it kid friendly? Is it kid friendly? Well, let's do a taste test and see. Go ahead and mix it up and make sure you get all the mixture on your fork and taste it. Come on, Coop, you got it. You're good. <laughs> it's kid friendly. Kid friendly? Everybody give it a thumbs up. Do you think you'll make this at home? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds like a plan. Well, thank you so much for joining us on today's edition of Kids in the Kitchen, uh, making our fruit Sunday. Until next time, say bye. 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 bye.